What's up guys, my name is Danny M. Cronin. I'm a real estate agent here in Santa Rosa. And today, I'm gonna be giving you guys a full tour of downtown Santa Rosa. It's something I constantly refer to in uh, a lot of my neighborhood videos. So I figured, you know what? It's probably about time to actually give you guys a good full vlog tour. So stay tuned, we're gonna be going over a lot. So we are currently walking through Courtyard Square. We're passing La Rosa. I'm gonna be going over kind of a little bit about every single one of these shops, bars, restaurants here. Um, we're gonna to start towards the end, right across from the mall. Another huge plus to downtown Santa Rosa, not only is there great food and places to get good drinks, but you're close to the Santa Rosa Plaza Mall. And surprisingly enough, there's still a lot of stores in there. Um, it's actually where I do a lot of my shopping. It's cool because it's been here forever and it's just kind of a cool spot to hang out. I remember when I was younger in high school, that was like the cool place to hang out and it's, it's cool to still see it here and still see it thriving. There's still new stores being dropped in there constantly. I've, I have noticed a lot of turnover in there. I think that a lot of that has to do with COVID and uh, just like the current state of the economy, right? So. Let's start at the very end here, the very end of 4th Street. This is, I'm gonna be really close to B Street. So it's gonna be B Street. On the left side of B Street is the mall. And then on the right side is 4th Street. So let's start from the end. All right, so we're just getting going here. It's super early in the morning on a Thursday. There's not a whole lot going on right now. A lot of these places aren't even open yet, but I figured it might be the best time to do this video because uh, I've noticed kind of throughout the week as we get closer to Friday, more and more people start coming out here. All right, so first place, Belly. I'm a huge, huge fan of that bar. They have really good food in there also. And it's just kind of a cool vibe in there. Uh, they have like a huge spread here. They have kind of the left side and the right side. I've come here a number of times. A great place in the summer if you want to get a nice cold beer and some good food. And of course, the world famous right across the street, La Rosa. One of my favorite spots if you're looking for good Mexican food and a cool just vibe overall. They have some outdoor seating over there. Uh, if you're looking to just kind of come hang out, enjoy some drinks and good Mexican food with your friends, this is definitely the spot you need to check out. That's probably like my number one if I'm just trying to go have a good time and hang out for a while, sit down, enjoy my meal, maybe have a couple drinks with some friends. That is gonna be my go-to spot, uh, especially during the summertime. They have outdoor seating over at La Rosa and it's just a cool spot overall. They used to have upstairs kind of like their club scene. I don't know if, if they're still doing that anymore, especially with COVID. Um, but yeah, overall, that's a cool spot. Right across the street from La Rosa, we have Noble Folk Ice Cream and Pie Bar. I've been here one time. I'm not like the guy who loves sweets and always craves this stuff. So when I went in here though, I was truly blown away. This place is amazing. I think I got like an ice cream sandwich um, right in between two homemade fresh chocolate chip cookies. Um, definitely recommend. So right across the street from Noble Folk, we have the um, brand new hotel. It used to actually be the courthouse spot, but they just renovated it and it's now a cool hotel. I've heard a lot of good things about it. it looks super clean in there. I know they just recently redid the entire building inside and out. Uh, so definitely check that out if you're doing some traveling. All right, so now we are gonna cross the street. This is the second block of downtown, still right across from Courtyard Square. First shop, 4th Street Deli, was in here the other day with my little guy, got a good breakfast sandwich. Went over here in uh, Courtyard, sat down. They have a whole number of different stuff in there. They have like freshly made uh, sandwiches, breakfast, breakfast burritos, all sorts of stuff. All right, right across the street from 4th Street Deli, we have Beer Baron. This is a new spot here, I think within the last couple of years. Uh, they got good food in there, good drinks, local beers. And then right next door, let's get over there, 
perch and plow, kind of a high end um, lunch and dinner spot. I've taken some clients in there and I was genuinely impressed at how good the food was in here. It's always good to see new shops coming to downtown. One thing I do want to point out, like I said, I am here early morning and the parking starts, it's metered parking, starts at 9 a.m. Um, I think it goes until five o'clock. I think Saturday also you have to pay, but I think Sunday's free. Uh, right behind me is Mary's Pizza Shack. Huge fan of them, been going there for years. Uh, great pizza. And then right next door to them, Carmen's Bistro and Bar, Land and Water Coffee. My go-to right here, Mexican food, El Palomar. Super, super good. If I'm like on the go and I'm lo looking for something fast, it's definitely El Palomar. I am a huge fan. Mexican food enthusiasts. I would eat it every single day if I could. Um, my go-to spot for sure. All right, so that is the second block of downtown Santa Rosa. Crossing right next to Barnes and Noble. That place has been here for years. I actually went in there the other day. Good spot to walk around definitely with the kiddo. My wife is a huge book person, so she's in there all the time and still loves it. Looks like we have something coming soon here right across the street, Falafel Hut, Middle Eastern cuisine. So it's super um, diversified here. You have a little bit of everything. You got Indian food, Mexican food. I mentioned early in the video when we started, we walked right by Stout Brothers. Uh, so if you're into the bar scene, I remember when I was younger, we used to go there a lot and uh, it can be a rowdy place. There's people that pull up in like limos and cool spots. So it's definitely one of those like dress up if you're looking for a good time on a Friday night. Uh, we are passing punch clothing. They got like a bunch of local stuff in there. Like they have custom hats from that say like Santa Rosa. My wife's from Santa Barbara. They have some Santa Barbara stuff in there. Uh, definitely a cool spot to check out, walk around if you're looking for some local gear. And the world famous Russian River Brewery. World famous for their Pliny the Elder beer and a number of other beers. Um, I would for sure say that's like one of the most popular bars here in Santa Rosa and breweries. Uh, cool spot, good food. They just opened a huge location in Windsor. That's pretty nice. I would definitely recommend going in there. Again, good food and awesome drinks. All right, so we're walking back through downtown. Another thing I wanted to note about the parking. They do have a lot of parking here. That's one cool thing about downtown Santa Rosa. There's a number of uh, different parking structures. They just updated their meters. So it's $1.50 per hour um, and you get a max of three hours. So pretty cool, a lot of spots to park, but as you can see, it's definitely filling up. And that is gonna wrap up this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. Consider subscribing. Again, I drop a video once a week. Santa Rosa specific, Sonoma County specific, neighborhood tours, business owners, uh, interviews, and just kind of all of the above, everything you need to know about Santa Rosa and Sonoma County. So thank you so much for watching guys, and we'll see you on the next one.